Hi, Milers. Welcome to Miles and Coffee. Thank you for sharing Mail Day with me. I'd like to give a shout out to my mail forwarding service. I will leave a link below. So that I just wanted you to see, for those of us that are digital nomads, we have to have our mail forwarded to whatever location we find ourselves in. So um, I'm learning the hard way that Customs does not really appreciate it unless you can make sure that everything is labeled very specifically. Otherwise, you're going to have a delay in shipment. So, let's just let you see. This one is FedEx. Again, shout out to my forwarding service because they recommended that I use FedEx from now on. They have to label everything out, so thank you for doing that. And again, they've got this nice and tape for security, and it's very well packaged so that everything is nicely insulated. Um, I had my sun oven, and nothing was damaged. Oh, wow. Okay, I see right away that, I don't know if you can see, these are copper wire lights for a silk screen mandala that will hang in my living room so that I can have something lightweight and colorful and pretty. I, I, I said I was not going to do reviews today, but that's the mandala and then the lights will hang either here. I think I'm going to put the lights in my bedroom, so I'll just put that up and fold it later. Okay. Oh, I know what this is. This is a uh, I believe a book that I wanted to have now that I cook fresh some things I do in the instant pot and now that I have my solar oven I wanted to have an alternative cooking book and this one I found I saw a, on PBS a review from Leanne Brown good and cheap eat on four dollars a day everything in here she really believes in eating fresh and mostly vegetables. So that's why I bought this because I love her philosophy of eating fresh. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay. Oh my. Okay. All right. Since I wanted to be prepared for emergencies, this is just um, an emergency stove. Like I said, I'm not doing reviews today, but this is an emergency camping stove so that I would have options to boil water, have a fire in case that the lights went out. I think what I'm going to do is put the box on the floor and then put this up here. Okay, and then of course the preparedness. I think I showed you guys my canned goods. These are some of the uh, dried foods that I, I keep in my pantry. This one is spinach, strawberries, uh, dried blueberries, and then of course, uh, more dried spinach. My goodness, I've got some dried pe freeze dried peas here. I don't know if you can see these or not. Okay, yeah, okay, fried uh, peas from um, Mother Earth Products. All of this stuff was purchased on Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate, I need to say that. So if you like to see something you like, Please use my link. Oh, okay, obviously I went overboard with the spinach because you can use that in so many things. I've got three spinach, some freeze-dried corn, some freeze-dried peas, and some freeze-dried bananas, all from the same company. Okay, so that's, that's that. All right, let's move that to the back. What else do we have in here? So this is various shipments that I just saved and then have them all sent at one time. Uh, oh, this is fuel for my camp stove. Like I say, just emergency. So I'll do a review on those stuff, those items later. Um, I'm just going to tell you, be really, really thankful for, if you choose to go this route, just know that I'm probably paying almost as much to ship as I did to buy, but some things I didn't want to live without. 
this item here I'm going to have to do a review on. I don't want to keep this video long. This is just, just to share my excitement of how I feel every time I get mail. And these are items that were on my wish list um, when I was in my camper. And then I was able to secure them now because prices are going down. And I didn't need the thousand dollar items. I needed items that uh, I could afford. This is a Paxis Rockman Solar Panel. I'm not doing a review today. I'm just showing you some things that I'm doing to be prepared. I got this item because it's small, obviously. And in the pack pouch back here, you can actually use this panel if you put it in the sun and um, go ahead and start charging your phone and your um, computer. Yeah, there it is right there. So I don't know. Let's see if I can, if you can see. There's some uh, sections back here where there's USB sections and a USC. That's why I wanted this one because my phone is USC. And you can go ahead and start charging right from the solar panel. Okay? It's got various cords of various sizes for the AC outlet of any uh, power station. So like I said, I'll, I'll start using this and then do a review of it. I wanted you to see it and I'll leave the link below. The Paxis Rockman solar output 60 watt and it's also 18 volt okay all right and my final item for today let's see how much time okay i don't want to keep this a long video i really like that because i purchased that to go with my alternate power supply i'm not going to take it out the box but i do want you to see what it is this is the Snug Max Portable Power Generator. Okay, so this little thing, you can see how small it is and how lightweight, almost like a shoebox, it's so light. But when I do get to use it, I'll show you the different ways that you can um, use this to power lights in an emergency, uh, your phone, a small computer. It's not going to do a refrigerator. This one is really, really small and it comes partially charged. So I'm not going to open that right now. Thank you for joining me on Mail Day. I'll keep links to all of these items below. Uh, and then when I get an opportunity, I will share a review on them. Okay? So, bye for now. Thank you for joining me on Mail Day.